Hey guys, welcome back to another Tech Guru video. Today we're in iPhoto and I'm going to be showing you how to set up and manage multiple libraries within iPhoto. So you may have a situation where you want to have more than one iPhoto library, whether it be a backup that you're putting on an external hard drive or if there's two or three people that are accessing the same computer. So in order to create multiple libraries within iPhoto, go ahead and close out of the application totally. Go Go down to the application icon and when you click on the iPhoto icon, hold down the Alt or Option key on a Mac, hold it down and continue holding it down until you see this box come up. You will see a few options here. You can choose from your multiple libraries if you already have created those or you can create a new library. So go ahead and click on the create new library just like that. Now this box will then appear and this is where you will choose where you want this second or third library to be saved or where you want it to be housed at on your computer. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the desktop just to make things easier and then what I'm going to do is name this iPhoto library Three, just like that and then I'm going to click on the save button just like that and we now have another iPhoto library available to us now once you've done that go ahead and close out of iPhoto we need to figure out exactly what we want to do with these libraries so what we're going to do now is go back down to the iPhoto icon open it back up by holding down the alt or option key until we see this box now we will see the different or multiple libraries that we have available to us I will say this if you create a library and host it on an external hard drive it will not be available obviously unless you have that external hard drive plugged into your computer so every time that you open iPhoto if you're running multiple iPhoto libraries you will need to hold down the alt or option key or if there's one that you use more than the others the last one that you open will be the default and that will be the one that opens automatically when you click on the icon without holding down the alt or option keys so if you have one that you rarely ever use don't make that one your default make the one that you use a lot the one that opens up automatically so again that is how you create and manage multiple libraries within iPhoto as you see up here on my desktop I now have the iPhoto library 3 icon here I could actually drag that onto an external hard drive and that would be housed there as well that's what the little icon looks like so that again guys is just a little trick or tip within iPhoto on running multiple libraries I hope you enjoyed it and again guys please help me out and click on the thumbs up button down below this video if you want more great technology tutorials, unboxings, and reviews, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more great content in the near future. And I will see you guys next time.